give them a better view of what's around them. The ocean's fairly flat, no rocks or trees to get in the way, uh, but the swell of waves could make it hard to see around, so giving them a little hop will help to give the otter more height to see what's going on around them. Now you might also notice that the uh, trainer there uh, gave Joy some food and then touched her on her foot. Now, these aren't pets. These are wild animals, even though they live with us permanently here at the aquarium. Uh, so our sea otters don't like to be touched. What we do instead is we practice with them. Uh, we do what's called desensitization. Uh, we give the otter a signal that we're going to touch them, and then we do that in a controlled fashion so they can get used to it and they know nothing bad's going to happen. Uh, so that's a very important practice here with our otters. Uh, we need to make sure that they're okay with us touching them so we can take care of them more easily, especially during, say, a medical checkup. But they are still wild animals, so uh, we don't just go petting our sea otters. Um, now, you might have also noticed that uh, uh, the animals are eating quite a bit of food. So after they do something, uh, the trainer gives them a, a food as a reinforcement. We're training our otters using what's called positive reinforcement. We ask them to do something. If they do it, we do something nice for them in exchange. Now, for otters, that's pretty much food. Uh, now, we actually also have a joy up here on this rock right now. You might have seen her walk out on the deck, uh, climbing up on the rock. And so uh, it... To encourage her to do that again next time we ask, we gave her some tasty, tasty food. Um, now that gives a, a, you a great idea that otters are perfectly capable of coming out of the water. They can walk around on land, in fact much better than a seal or a sea lion can. Of course you won't see this happening much in the wild. Sea otters want to stay away from human activity, and so they are going to uh, spend most of their lives in the ocean here off California. Uh, California has a lot of human activity on the coastline. Uh, of course that doesn't... Uh, mean it's a problem for the sea otters, they are able to spend every single minute of their life in the ocean. They can eat in the ocean, sleep in the ocean, even give birth in the ocean water. Uh, so that's a great adaptation they have. We've got uh, May up here on the deck taking her turn uh, showing how they move up on land. Uh, now you might be curious what the otters are eating. I mentioned why we're feeding them, uh, but they have a few different things on the menu today. We've got some chopped up clam. We also have shrimp and a bit of chopped up squid as well. Now, Sea otters in the wild eat a mix of different species, about 50 different kinds of shellfish, so things like clams, uh, and invertebrates, uh, so things like uh, crabs or the shrimp. Uh, so any animal without a backbone. We've actually never seen California sea otters eating fish, which uh, if you glance under the water, you might see some fish who are very happy about this fact. Uh, now, the otters here at the aquarium, of course, aren't eating all 50 different species there, but we make sure uh, that our animals uh, stay healthy through regular medical checkups and even get vitamins, too. Shrimp is their favorite food, so we'll save that for uh, some of the tougher training sessions, or if they do something really well, we might also mix up uh, vitamins or medication in with some mushed up shrimp to trick them into eating it. Uh, now, you'll also notice that uh, when the otters are eating, they're spending a lot of time on their back. It's because their fur is all that's keeping them warm in the ocean. They don't have a layer of fat and blubber uh, like other marine animals do. Uh, and in fact, as they dive under the water picking up the food that we're ta tossing out to them, you'll see bubbles coming from their fur. Their thick fur traps air and helps to insulate them uh, just like a fuzzy sweater. And now they float on their backs because their back has the thickest fur. But keeping that fur clean is a really important thing for sea otters out in the wild. This